All right, class, this is number 15. Um, by just reading through the problem, you can get this information right here. Um, and then once I have this information, now I can just enter it into my computer or my calculator. The other thing you can get from reading the, the problem is that the claim is going to be the alternate. Uh, because it says in there, can the engineer support the claim that the mean braking distances are different, are, so that the mean differences are not equal to each other? Okay, so again, it just it gives you all the information for this problem, and then you just simply just enter it into your computer or your calculator. Why do I keep saying computer? So it's tests. Uh, again, it's a two-sample test. So. Um, Standard deviation for the first one is 4.7. Standard deviation for the second one is 4.3. X bar 1, 4.2. Uh, N1 is 35. X2 is 45. And N2 is 35. Again, we're going to use a not equal to symbol. Hit calculate. We have a very low p value, which is telling me we're going to reject. HO, we definitely are going to reject HO because our alpha value is 0.1. So um, we have a p value that was less than uh, 0.01. And if our p is less than alpha, we reject HO, which means. Um, 356, I don't know, I always have to refer back to that. Our claim is with HA, we reject HO. There is enough evidence to support the claim that these two means are not equal.